Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today, we continue our quest to be a Premier League champions. Plus, we have a trip to Merseyside for the quarterfinal of the Europa League. Hello and welcome to episode 18 of Irons in the Fire as we try and make West Ham good and great again. My name's Mark and on today's episode we have for you two games, uh, both against Merseyside uh, teams. Everton first up uh, at home at the London Stadium in the Premier League, match day 33, which means after today's game we have just five games left to roll and... Uh, Things are getting very, very edgy at the top of the table, as you will see in just a few moments from now. And then we go to Anfield for the first leg of the Europa League quarterfinal. And uh, we need to get a half-decent result there to bring back to the London Stadium for the second leg, of course. If you enjoyed today's episode... Please leave me that big thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification button, leave me some comments, let me know how, you, uh, how you're how you enjoying this series, etc, etc, and what you'd like to see me do in further series here on FM24. Right, without any more to do, we will have a look and see what's been going on since you were last with us. Um, if we go to the schedule, uh, we've played two games, and as you see... We're doing a very good job of uh, giving the impression that we're bottling it, to be fair. Um, losing in the last episode, in the second game of that episode, 5-3, eight goals in there. Uh, but it was a poor game. And uh, then we've uh, only managed to go to Brighton and draw 1-1 with them. Um, albeit we had most of the match. Not a lot on target, to be fair. But we did have 22 shots, six on target. 3.83, uh, should have had three goals, only got one. Raul uh, de Thomas from the penalty spot after 85, saving our blushes after Grobe uh, give Brighton the lead after 52 minutes. And uh, very disappointing, to say the least. No, it's all right. We'll pick ourselves up when it comes to Crystal Palace. Um, they appear to be our um, series nemesis. Um, there's always one, and uh, Crystal Palace appeared to be it. Uh, lost to them in the third round of the uh, Caribou Cup. 4-4, four, four, well, on penalties, but 4-4. Four, four. Um, couldn't beat them there. They uh, We went to Sellers Park and lost 3-1 um, and only managed a draw at home. So uh, they're going to be our proverbial thorn in the side, no doubt. Um, good job we don't meet them again this season, really, isn't it? Um, so a couple of tough matches to go. Uh, this is how the uh, Premier League looks going into today's uh Games, as you'll see, we are in second place. We've played a game more than Manchester City, which effectively, given those two draws, does mean that we are... Um, uh, because I'm, I'm, I'm working on the basis that they're going to win. It means that we're four points behind Manchester City and making life extremely difficult for ourselves um, if we are going to uh, go on and win this um, Premier League title. I, it's just not doing it. Um Manchester United have closed the gap on us to just three points now. Uh, Liverpool are in fourth, um, some nine points behind us. So I think they're probably... Re I would expect them to be out of the equation uh, as it stands, but uh, we have to be very careful. Manchester United um, chewing at our heels, as it were, and any more slip-ups, and they could be in for an overtake um, as it stands. So... We just need to keep going and um, um, do what we need to do. And Everton, if you look at Everton's current form, they were on five straight wins in the Premier League, which uh, is uh, is but no mean feat. And uh, I think we need to be very, very cautious of them in the first game of this episode. Uh, I have to say, I do believe that our, um, our recent poor form is down to one thing. And that was, I very, very stupidly, and I don't know how I managed to do it, I'd sent um, Vladimir Kufal and um, uh, Thomas Suchek 
both on holiday at the same time. And uh, both of them have been out for a few weeks. And uh, we've definitely played those two games in those uh, few weeks. And I think it has hit us dramatically. Um, in fact, I'm not sure if they played against uh, Manchester United. Did they play against Manchester United? Or was that the first time that they were out? Um, okay, foul played. Um, Suchek came on as substitute. So they did play in the Manchester United game, but uh, yeah, since then, uh, definitely been on a bad run. Let's put it right today. That's all I can say as we go and meet Everton in good form at the moment. No team news uh, showing up on this screen. We have played Everton uh, once at Goodison Park. They're still at Goodison Park in this uh, in this series, aren't they? Yes, at uh, Goodison Park. Uh, beat them 2-1 on that occasion. Uh, Danny Ings scoring after 19 minutes. Um, Mavropanos giving us a two-goal lead after 64. Beto getting one back on 75. Made it for squeaky bum time uh, towards the end of that game, but we managed to get the win. Let's hope we can do similar today. We are at home. Um, one would expect us to get a reasonable result. Let's hope we can do it. Let's have a look at the team that will face Everton. And here is the team that will face uh, Everton in this uh, Premier League match day 33. And the pressure is even more on us because both Manchester City and Manchester United have won the early games in this round of games, which means that Manchester United are literally on the same amount of points as us. We are only above them on goal difference, so we can't afford to lose today. Um, and obviously uh, with Manchester City having played what well, effectively is their game in hand, but it won't be by the time we play. Uh, they obviously are the four points in front of us. So uh, uh, the point being is if we lose today, they're four points in front of us anyway. And a game in hand, I think it's pretty much all over. So a win is a, f a, a, a must today. We've got to win is the way to do it. This is the team, hopefully, that will do it. Ariola is in goal. Emerson, Friedel, Mavropanos. And Kufal make up our defensive line. Zuma, uh, Ward Prowse, and Suchek are in midfield. Kudos is sat behind Bowen and Watkins up front. Frabinski, Alvarez, Paqueta, De Thomas, Johnson, Kamada, Ings, Carrera, and Creswell make up the bench. And here we are at the London Stadium. Playing our usual formation. Won two of the last five. Drawn two, lost one. Everton, as we said, are on a five-game unbeaten run. And they're playing a 4-2-3-1 today. Everton currently in seventh on 52 points. And we are second on 68. Petrovic with a free kick but it's into the arms of Ariola from a header and the highlight looks like it's going to continue Emerson out wide eight minutes on the clock Emerson cut inside but that's a poor ball by Emerson should have known better gives uh, the possession away which is not what we want but Watkins has stepped in it's got a toe in he couldn't put it past Pickford and Pickford saves for a corner pressure continues Bowen with the corner. It's going to be a short one. He's got Wall Prowse there. Back out of Bowen. Bowen from a different angle. It's gone wrong way round. What are you doing? And he's given it away in the end. Really expected him to pump that bun in very, very quickly. Watkins really had a lot to do. He's getting pressurised by the defender, Godfrey. Uh, but uh, still had plenty of time. I would have expected him to put that away. Throw in on that far side. It'll be Mavropanos with a long throw, as he does. And uh, couldn't get ahead on that. He has another go to Zuma on the edge of the area. He's got Emerson in space. Emerson! He's got past Pickford. His fourth goal of the season. And on 13 minutes, I need to check the time in it, but at the moment, it's 13 minutes. And uh, we go one up. Zuma on the edge of the area. Lovely ball. 
across to Emerson. Emerson into space, and it was 13 minutes, just gone past the 12-minute mark. Coleman with the throw in on this near side. Back out to Coleman. McNeil to Emerson getting in and making a nuisance of himself. Freed out. Freed out finds Suchek. Suchek comes forward with that ball. Is out to Kufau. Kufau crosses deep. Oh, Zuma off the woodwork. It's still bouncing around there. And it's not clear, but McNeil tidies up. We'll see that again from behind the goal. Unlucky. We should have been two up here. Lovely ball in. And see how we've missed Kufal. And uh, Zuma straight on to the crossbar. Emerson with the throw in now on this near side. But, uh, given away. Freed out. Zuma brings it down. Suchek. Definitely been missing these two players. Emerson. Freed out. Zuma. Who's playing in midfield today. And the flick through to Watkins. Watkins, can he get this into the area? Does low, but nobody there. Checked. Zuma. Zuma! Seventh goal of the season. And Kurt Zuma puts us two up after 17 minutes. And that is definitely more like it. Lovely ball into the area. Ward-Prowse. Puts it in for Zuma. Zuma just controls it. Brings it on the volley. Bang. Ariola, well outside his area. If he'd made a mistake then, we'd have been in trouble. Friedel, who's picked up a yellow card of notice. Suchek comes forward. It's just surprising. Two of those two players have been out, especially down that left side. Kufal deep. Zuma! He's eighth goal of the season, and it's 3-0 after 28. Oh, my goodness me. Zuma is enjoying himself in that midfield role today. And just as I was saying, down that right-hand side there, um, Suchek and Kufal have been absolutely brilliant. That one again. Lovely ball for Kufal. Straight onto Zuma's head. Bang. Mavropanos with a throw-in on this. Oh, no, it's not. It's Friedel on this side. Headed on by Zuma. Oh, it's gone in. And Mavropanos, the man I thought was taking the throw, it could be ruled out. Is it ruled out? No, it's been allowed. 4-0 on 31 minutes. We'll see it again. Zuma heads it on. Mavropanos directs it into the net. Emerson with a free kick. We've just, well, have almost taken out our last two games. Three games. Oh, Watkins is in. And number five, goalkeeper Jordan Pickford making a absolute howler. And it's 5 0 on 38. Here's Pickford. What's he doing? What's he doing? Tries to get rid of it. Watkins chests it down. And uh, Jordan Pickford making a howler. No more highlights in that first half. Not that we needed any. Um, Everton have had one shot the whole of that uh, first half. Not surprised. Uh, one shot, uh, one on target. Uh, we've had 11 shots, seven of which have been on target. 2.77, uh, 61% of the possession. We are five goals to the good at half time. Uh, Zuma getting two and creating two. He has contributed four goals in that first half. Um, absolutely splendid. Um, man of the match for me, or player of the match, should I say. Um, so uh, very, very good. Um, I think we've taken our um, annoyance at the last three games out on Everton in this one. Well, I hadn't realised, but uh, Gerard Bowen has uh, got a slight injury, a potential knee injury. So we've taken him off at half time as a precaution. Um, and uh, Danny Ings, who's coming back from injury, uh, we've brought him on in his place. Um, some changes, I think, fairly early in the uh, second half because um, Kurt Zuma is getting very, very tired. Um, so we'll look uh, possibly to uh, replace him in central mid um, at some point or other. Uh, but, uh, yeah, just that one change for now. Ings is on for Bowen. And a good win. Kufal, like I said, he's come back into this side. He's had a rest. Watkins now with the ball. 
finds Kudus. Kudus creating a bit or trying to create a bit of space. He's into the penalty area. Cuts it back for Zuma, who's on a hat trick. Out to Kufal, but just over the top. And with 60 minutes on the clock, we're going to make two more changes. As uh, prophesized, Kurt Zuma, who has had a fantastic game, a 9.8 um, rating. And, uh, well, I, I feel a bit reluctant to take him off, actually. But uh, he is tiring, and uh, I'd like to keep him for the Liverpool game. Uh, so he has uh, come off. Uh, we've replaced him with Lucas Paqueta in that uh, defensive midfield, central midfield, so Seconda Volante uh, role. And uh, then we've also taken off Emerson, who has also had a fantastic game uh, today on that left-hand side. And he's replaced by Aaron Creswell. And we have a corner. Players just coming on the pitch, I think. It's, uh... Oh, no, that's Kufal just arriving late. I think that's what the hold-up is because, uh, as you will see, Zuma has gone off. So I think players have come on and gone off. Wall Prowse with the corner. Swung in! And uh, Mavpranos gets his second of the game. And uh, we go 6-0 up after 62. It's uh, another one of those well-worked corners. I'm not sure if it was flicked on in the first place by... Uh, Suchek, interesting to see who gets the assist. Michalenko, Danjama, Ariola collects. He's uh, building with the confidence of the team at the moment. And uh, Ariola drops that ball, plays it out to Creswell, who's come on in place of Emerson. He's come forward. Ings tackled. Kudos. Mavropanos, who's on a hat trick as well, to Friedel. As well, back to Friedel, looking for a way through. Paqueta, Friedel, Ward Prowse over the top, looking for Danny Ings. And Danny Ings is brought down in the penalty area. Could be number seven on the way. Um, VAR will look at it, of course. And it is a penalty. Mavropanos on a hat trick, but it's been saved by Pickford. It's gone out for a corner. Creswell on that uh, near side. We're going to see the uh, penalty again. Mavropanos missing it. Creswell to the near post. It's flicked on. And he has got his hat-trick now. Seventh goal of the season. Flicked on. And 7-0 uh, on 67 minutes. The old corner routine working again. Pickford nowhere near it. And with 75 minutes on the clock, making one more change, uh, we've taken off Ollie Watkins, who's had a good game, and uh, we're just going to give him a bit of a rest with the Liverpool game coming up 7 0 in the lead. I mean, I'm hardly going to worry too much about it. Ollie Watkins is rested, and Raul de Thomas comes on to replace him. We have a free kick now. It's Ward Prowse. 18 minutes on the clock. Kudos. Back to Wal Prowse. Wal Prowse comes forward. He's looking across this in. As Mav Pranos on the edge of the area. It's been flicked in, but saved by Pickford at the near post from Paqueta. It's a corner. Wal Prowse. We know what happens from corners. It's crossed in deep this time, looking for Kufal, but it's gone out. And it's a goal kick. And we'll see the uh, Paqueta chance here. Mavropanos swam in and a uh, good save by Pickford. And with 83 minutes on the clock making a final change, uh, Thomas Suchek has come off and we've brought on Edson Alvarez. No more highlights in this game. It's a 7-0 trouncing of Everton. Everton had one shot all game, one shot on target, 0.12. They were never, ever in it. Jordan Pickford had a 7.7 .7 and saved them from probably a cricket score I'm taking from that. Um, we had 24 shots, 14 of them on target, 4.55 uh, sorry, 4.88 on the XG and uh, we had 60% of the possession. 
not only is the three points that I needed uh, to keep us going at the top of the table, uh, but we've also uh, sorted our uh, goal difference out, which uh, may well come in handy yet. Right, before we have a look at the uh, results and the table from uh, this round of games, uh, just a confirmation, Gerard Bowen is a twisted knee. It's out for two to four days. Um, so that's good news, bad news, really. Uh, shame that he's taken a knock, uh, but um, at least it's not going to be a long-term injury. And here we are. This is how the day's results have gone. Liverpool joined 2-2 with Nottingham Forest. Uh, which is why we are now 11 points clear of them down in fourth. Um, Bournemouth beating Aston Villa. Manchester City beating Brentford by two goals to nil. Haaland and Nunes, the scorers there. Uh, Manchester United are two nil winners against Crystal Palace. Team we couldn't seem to get past. Um, and then obviously our 7 nil trouncing of Everton, the big uh, score of the day. Arsenal beating Brighton by two goals to nil. So... As it stands, with the game in hand, Manchester City on top on 72 points. Uh, same goal difference as us now. That's interesting. Uh, West Ham, uh, we are second on 71. Um, Manchester United are third on 68, three points behind us. Liverpool uh, now 11 points behind us in fourth, as are um, Arsenal just in fifth on goal difference. Uh, Tottenham sixth uh, on 56 points. And then Everton on seventh uh, with 52 points. That's how it all uh, stands at the moment going into uh, the second game of the episode, uh, which is going to be, in five days' time, a trip to Anfield for the game against Liverpool. Played them once in this series so far at the London Stadium. Beat them 2-1. Um, uh, Anfield might be a slightly different kettle of fish, but we'll go and see what we can do. Um, I will come back just before we head into that game, just in case there is any updates for you between now and then. So nothing much to report between games. Uh, Ollie uh, Skulls is uh, injured. He's going to be out for a, a couple of weeks. Um, he's picked up a injury in training, but uh, apart from that, uh, nothing major to tell you about. Uh, Liverpool team news. Uh, Costas Tamis Tassimikas uh, is unregistered. Uh, Subajalai is out with a gashed upper, upper leg. Curtis Jones is doubtful with broken ribs. And uh, Gakpo is doubtful with a hamstring strain. We have no news. Um, let's go and have a quick look, if we can, at... Um, the Europa League fixtures for today, then. Ajax are playing Atletico Madrid. We're playing Liverpool. Marseille play Eindhoven. And Leipzig play Roma. That is the draws. Uh, the games that are going to be played. And, of course, uh, we will play either Ajax or Atletico Madrid in the semi-final. If we can get past Liverpool, let's go and have a look at the team that will face Liverpool. And here is the team that will face Liverpool in this Europa League quarterfinal first leg. And uh, it's a relatively unchanged side from the side that uh, trounced uh, Everton in the last match. Let's hope they can do the same again. Uh, the only change, I think, pretty much is De Thomas up front. Um, as uh, we said, Bowen was injured. Um, he's been passed. He's had a fitness test. He has been passed sort of fit. Uh, but uh, we'll keep him on the bench for this one. So the team is Ariola in goal, Emerson, Friedel, Mavrapanos, Kufal, Zuma, Ward Prowse, and Suchek in midfield. Kuda sat behind De Thomas and Watkins up front on the bench. Then we have Trot, uh, Alvarez, uh, Paqueta, Ings, Carrera, Kamada, Benarama, Creswell, Fennells, Bowen, Johnson, and Tarima. And here we are with the uh, Europa League screens. This is Liverpool. They're playing a 4-3-3, uh, effectively. And we're sticking with our formation. As the teams enter the pitch, Liverpool playing in all red, of course. We're playing in white shirts and blue shorts today.
And Mo Salah with a corner early on here. Endo! A bicycle kick going wide. Friedel with a long throw on that far side, but it's headed clear. Friedel back across Mavrapanos. And uh, Mavrapanos, and not sure who was with him. Emerson into the area. Has a shot, just flashed it wide. They have a corner from this near side this time. Arnold, and it fell. Ariola dived, and Van Dyke puts it away. It's 1 0 after 22. See what happened from behind the goal. Alexander Arnold, it's headed on. I'm not sure I know. Ah, it came back off the post. Alexander Arnold to Salah. Liverpool seem to have had a lot of the game. Endo out to Diaz. Need to win some possession here. And a question of offside, I think. It was a flash of arms about Ariola shouting at his defence. Gomez getting that through ball to Diaz. And uh, it got a deflection. Fidel with another long throw. Throws it in. But uh, Alexander Arnold comes out to it. And uh, Friedel didn't uh, catch back up on that. And Darwin's in acres of space. He's offside. Yep, he's offside. Way offside. Look at him. He's over the halfway line now. Linesman goes back. Going back before he even went in the back of the net. Half time comes, no more highlights. Uh, well, it's pretty even Stevens in a way. Um, they've had 52% of the possession against our 48. Eight shots, one on target. 1.42 against our six shots, one on target. 0 0.40. Uh, we need to be a bit better in the second half. Um, but I guess at the end of the day, we wouldn't be too disappointed if we can manage to uh, keep it to 1 0 uh, going into the second leg. I think we'd uh, probably take that. And with 61 minutes on the clock, making no inroads uh, so far, we're going to make three changes. Uh, we have taken off uh, Kurt Zuma in midfield, not playing like he did uh, in the game against Everton, and he is replaced by Alvarez. Uh, Mohamed Kudas is uh, replaced in uh, behind the front two. Um, we're going to replace him with uh, Kamada, and uh, Bowen comes on and replaces Raul de Thomas, who uh, was having a poor game up front. Uh, he's uh, now alongside Ollie Watkins. Robertson with a throw in on that far side. It's played back to Van Dijk. Endo out to Robertson. Diego Jota. Been harried and uh, Kamada steps in. Bowen through to Watkins. Watkins was onside. Can he put this away? He can! And he's 16th goal of the season. And the good news is we are level after 76 minutes. And what a wonderful counter attack that was. Kamada who's come on, stepped in, passed it to Bowen who also has come on, played it through to Watkins. Watkins kept his call. Allison coming out, tucked it away past him. And with 82 minutes on the clock, we're making two more changes. Uh, we have taken off uh, Thomas Suchek, who hasn't had such a good game today. Also tiring on a yellow card as well. Uh, we've taken him off, brought on um, Tilo Carrera in his place in uh, central uh, midfield. And uh, at the back, we have taken off um, Vladimir Kufal. Had a great game against Everton. Um, today he's looking a little bit tired, a little bit jaded. He's uh, getting tired as well. Uh, we've taken him off and replaced him with Ben Johnson. Free kick, Canate with this free kick. Emerson cuts it out back to Ariola. A nice headed defensive move. Ariola's going to launch one long. It's bounced. Kamada's got on it. Kamada's still got it. He's in the area. Can he do anything with it? No, he's cut out by Van Dyke. Van Dyke in close attendance. Uh, Emerson is there. Emerson crosses it deep. Alvarez hits it back into the area. And Thomas Suchek, he's still on the pitch, uh, has put a second past Liverpool on 84, 83 minutes, I think it probably was. 
and uh, we'll see it from behind. And I'll tell you what. So check flicked header, and uh, they didn't know what hit them. No more highlights. Uh, we have snuck a win from under Liverpool's nose at Anfield. They took the lead after 22, held them off uh, till half time at 1 0. But Ollie Watkins after 76, and Thomas Suchek just before he was due to come off on 83 minutes. Gave us a win. Nine shots, four on target, 1.40, 41% of the possession. Uh, they had 10 shots, two on target, uh, 1.75 on the old XG, and 59% of the possession. Uh, that's a good win and a good lead to take back to uh, the London Stadium for the second leg. And here's confirmation of the results and the other results from this uh, first leg day. Ajax and Atletico Madrid are tied one each. Ajax taking the lead after four. Depay equalising for Atletico de Madrid after 83. Uh, of course, we snuck that win against Liverpool. Uh, Marseille beating Eindhoven in the first leg. And as they've got the home leg in the second, uh, the odds are against Eindhoven at the moment. Leipzig also 1-0 up against Roma. A pender, the scorer for Leipzig, who, uh, of course, we had in our uh, other series um, with Brentford. So uh, he's uh, on the score sheet for Leipzig. And uh, we'll see how that turns around. Of course, uh, Roma um, not out of it by any chalk of the imagine. Strange things happen in these. So uh, that's uh, what uh, we're looking at going into the second legs next Thursday. In game. All right, so we're going to play Bournemouth online. We're going to come back then for uh, two more matches. Liverpool in the second leg of the Europa League quarterfinal. Can we get through to the semi final? It's uh, at the moment in our favour. We just need to, uh, to produce a result at home. And uh, then it's uh, FA Cup semi final against Aston Villa as we look for our first final and a first bit of silverware in this series. Let's hope we can uh, get that uh, as, a st as a starting point. I mean, who knows? Still got the opportunity for two bits of silverware. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, don't forget to leave me that big thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification button. Um, and also leave me some comments. It all helps here on YouTube. Uh, if you hit the notification button, it keeps you up to date with all future episodes of Irons in the Fire, our other series, of course, um, which is coming to an end. Project Turnaround, a uh, new series coming up very, very soon. Look out for that. Um, in fact, I think by the time you get to here, let's just check a second. Um, by the time you see this episode, in fact, tomorrow we have the uh, reveal uh, episode. So the Project Turnaround has finished. Um, so the, the reveal episode for our brand new series from bottom to the top um, is out tomorrow. Have a look for that. It, uh, it's a lower league uh, save, which uh, you might be interested in. So look out for that one. Uh, the best way of keeping up to date what's happening on this channel is to follow me on Twitter at Just Offside 2. Uh, new episodes of Irons in the Fire uh, will be released every Monday and Thursday at 4.15pm. I thank you for watching and hope to see you for the next episode. It'll be episode 19. It's out on Thursday. Until then, have yourselves a very good week.